So, a long time ago, there was a fun DC Comics, Marvel Comics crossover. And I'm not sure if it will ever be done again. But it was a lot of fun. And after a little crossover, they had this really short event where they mashed up their characters. One of them is Spider-Boy. And he is the combination of Superboy, Connor Kent, the one with the jacket, and Spider-Man, the Ben Riley version, because that's who was Spider-Man at the time. This is what he looks like. Now, a lot of people were confused in my last video where I talked about this subject when I showed everyone Spider-Boy, the new Spider-Boy. He was in Dan Slott's book, a very unoriginal character, and I brought up in my video, roasting Dan Slott's work, and I'm going to do it again today because he's directly responded to me. Well, not by name, but I'm pretty sure it's about me because Dan Slott hates criticism. He can't stand it. In fact, it eats away at his soul. This is why he used to go on fan forums back in the day and get people criticizing him banned from them. See, this is one of the things that, this is one of the things that the comic book artists and, and writers that are very petty hate about YouTube is they can't just walk in and get rid of you. They can't control it. This is why they run blockchains too, because they don't like criticism. They want the only people they want talking to them on Twitter are ones that kiss their ass. That's it. So uh he he can't he can't help himself but to watch anything about him. If you make a video about Dan Slot, chances are he will watch it. So he made this shitty ripoff character it's just another fake Spider-Man, one of three million. There's so many of them now, I, I stopped counting. He thinks he's so creative making this character. I'm Spider-Boy. My name's Bailey. Can't wait, wait to find out the identity politics that this character has in him, or her, or they, or Zer. I don't know. Uh, but I pointed out correctly in my last video that Spider-Man directly ripped off the Sentry. And here is CBR, who probably watched my video and took the idea, and, like, they came up with it. Uh, I came out with this right away. This came out 23 hours ago. So this character was a race through time. Everyone forgot about him. It's the same origin as the Sentry. They're even admitting it here, except they don't say that Dan Slott ripped off the idea. I do say Dan Slott ripped off the idea. He's ripped off a lot of shit. Spider-Verse is a direct ripoff of the 90s cartoon that did it at the end of their little Secret Wars arc. They all had to team up to take down Spider Carnage. That's where the Spider-Verse idea comes from. Dan Slott stole that, said, oh my God, I'm so amazing. And, you know, because it's been a long time since that show was on the air, nobody, nobody remembered. Some people did, but no one really talked about it. Because, well, you've got to kiss Dan Slott's ass to get media access to him. So, I made that video talking about the fact that his comics don't sell unless he's got Spider-Man on the name. That's a fact. Uh, his Iron Man run, his Fantastic Four run after he left Amazing Spider-Man, all fell off of the charts. I think people read one or two of the first issues, like issue one, maybe issue two, then it fell right off of the charts. No one was reading it anymore. And it's even happening with the Spider-Man side book that he's on. So, I went and looked at this. Top 50 comics for March 2023. We're on issue 7 right now. That's what this is for the Spider-Boy book. A very unoriginal character who's probably got massive identity politics weaved into him. It won't go anywhere. Uh, this is the second main rip-off character that he's made because he also created Silk, a garbage character that nobody gives a shit about. So, uh, his Spider-Man book is selling less than the Miles Morales book. <laughs> Miles Morales Spider-Man number four is sitting at 17. Uh, Spider-Man number six sitting at 21. Uh, ASM, of course, is up here at number one, seven, and you even have some reprints down here, 38. Amazing Spider-Man number 20 still still selling. I would imagine those are reprints because uh, this one says 2022 on it, so I I'm not sure. I'm assuming that's a second printing, this amazing Spider-Man number 20. That's why it says 2022 on it. 
But look where his Spider-Man book is. It's already down here at number six. So it's slowly moving down the charts because it sucks. I read the first couple of issues. It's a shit book. It's because Spider- uh, Spider-Man, Dan Slott, Dan Slott in general is awful. Ten years he was on Spider-Man. No one read it because everyone buys Spider-Man and throws it into a long box. Amazing Spider-Man is the, is the best-selling unread book. Because people will literally buy it and throw it in a box because they just want to have all of the comics. They want to have the almost thousand issues that exist of this book. That's that's why it still sells. A lot of people don't even read it. I'm not kidding. It's not a joke. Look into it. A lot of people buy it and just throw it in a long box. That's what people did with Dan Slott's book for a long time. Because nothing from his run really matters. If you go and you look at Keys, which is a significant book, uh, the only one that's really worth any money is Silk, the the Silk first appearance. And that's because of speculation. Nobody really gives a shit about that character at all, just like nobody's going to give a shit about Spider-Boy. Speculators buy these because Sony is willing to turn anything into a movie, just like they're making a Silk Amazon series. So Dan Slott, here's these criticisms that I, I sent to him, and he, he says this, look at him trying to get a figure made of this garbage character, and no one would buy it. Uh, he whines, puts this over on Twitter. This is after my video gets made, by the way. Sometimes the sweetest motivation is when an incredibly obnoxious person goes out of their way to bet against you. Do it. Go all in. Proclaim as loud as you can that I'm going to fail at this. Thank you. You're not knocking me down. You're giving me my second win. Your second win, Dan Slott, you spend all day on Twitter. You spent almost 10 years. Well, no, not 10 years, but you spent almost four or five years having a one-sided conversation with Donald Trump on Twitter. Tagging Donald Trump all the time. Uh, By the way, the reason he's so mad is because I pointed out Remember, he said he was going to leave Twitter. Dan Slott was going to leave Twitter because Elon Musk was taking away the check mark. Lo and behold, he's still here, isn't he? He's addicted to Twitter. Here he is talking about CNN politics here, talking about Donald Trump. Donald Trump has no idea who the hell you are, by the way, Dan Slott. So he never left Twitter, sits on Twitter still all day, all day talking about Twitter talking about politics, doesn't write his shit. They actually have to get people to come in. Like, he'll do this outline. They had to get Christopher. They've talked about this. This isn't speculation. This is the Marvel documentary that they did on this man. They have to get Christopher Yost to come in and fill in the word bubbles because this man tweets so much and spends so much time on social media that he can't finish his work. So he does the outline of the script. Christopher Yost comes in and fills in his word bubbles. Because he can't get it done. Because he's too busy screwing around, screwing around online, fighting with fans, blocking fans, yelling at Trump, yelling at Republicans. It's funny. So he's all, he's all happy about this, this stupid Spider-Man, Spider-Boy character that he ripped off from, from the century. Even CBR.com admits it, but they just say, oh, he shares the same origin. No, he ripped off. He ripped off the century's origin is what he did on a character that's not going to matter. This character won't be an ASM ever, ever, because nobody's going to care about this dumb, stupid character. So I find this funny. Dan Slott, mad people are talking about him. Boo-hoo. Boo-hoo. Funny, you're still on Twitter, Dan. You didn't leave like you said you were going to leave. You said you were going to leave. You never did because you're addicted. You're addicted. You are addicted to social media. And your books, they don't sell. The only reason that this Spider-Man book is on here is because it's Spider-Man. But it's quickly dropping down the charts. Not 21. Issue 7. Actually, issue 7 might be a little bit higher because it's it's a speculation book because of that character spider boy but i would imagine after issue 7 this book will probably fall down here 
into the 30s, and then by 8, 9, or 10, it'll probably fall off of the cliff because this book doesn't have the same power as ASM. You have collectors that have been buying that whole run, so that book will always stay up here. But Spider-Man, that book's going to fall off a cliff. It, the only reason it's selling right now is because of that name in it. It has nothing to do with Dan Slott, his glorious writing. If he's such a good writer, his Iron Man run and his Fantastic Four run would have been so panned by everybody, and it would have stayed on the charts. Nobody bought those books. So I don't need to bet against you to fail, Dan. You already are a failure. You have no real big legacy on Spider-Man. No one cares about your run. Nobody collects it. I could get all those books for $10. Like I, well, that's exaggerating, but his entire run, I could probably get dirt cheap in dollar bins. Nobody buys those. Nobody wants those. There's no demand for those books. Your legacy is that you wrote the most Spider-Man books that nobody gives a shit about. Anyway, that's pretty much it. When are you going to leave Twitter? You leaving Twitter anytime soon? You made a big stink about it and had a big meltdown about Elon. Thought you were leaving. Oh, is it because you went over to that other site and nobody knew who you were and nobody interacted with you? Oh. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed to that notification bell. Check out my Rumble and my Locals, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my Locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube, they'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals.